What's up, y'all? I'm Joe Hooks here at Golf Tech headquarters in Denver, Colorado. Got a driver fitting coming. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> Yo, thanks man. for making the trip out, man. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate so, you. We'll take uh, your Sim 2, put it to the test today, and uh, hopefully find you something uh, that goes you know, a little bit farther, a little bit straighter. You should be uh, able to. Tell me about the driver you have now, though. What do you like? What don't you like? Uh, I like I like how I can move it both ways. Okay. Um, what I don't like is when I hit it the hardest and right out the center, and you know the ones that would go a mile if the fairways were rock hard, if they're soft at all, that ball is landing and you know, going to stop in one spot okay. and we have um, like for some reason whenever I need to drive a green per se, mm -hmm. right, if I need to fly it, you know, 310 or whatever and get it, it'll, my, my driver will land on the green and hold. Okay. In a lot of cases. So it could be good on some short par fours, but if you are trying to stretch out that extra, you know, 10, 20 yards. I mean, roll, yeah, and, and so, exactly. Bit. And okay. I, I've noticed, you know, on a lot of these drives that I hit, that I, I know I hit hard. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that are like seem to be landing a little bit softer. Okay. Is there a particular side of the course that you tend to miss or you'd like to eliminate? We want to obviously we want to eliminate the left side of the golf course. All right. Man, you know, that's, know. Uh, that's usual. Better player problems tend to right. go a little too far to the left at times. Right. Okay. And how about uh, the height of your shots? Is it higher or lower than you'd like it to be on the good ones? <sighs> in a lot of cases, I tee the driver up really low, especially okay. in competition. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I guess a lot of times with that low T for me, I can get it. I can get it to, you know, sting pretty low and like chase a little bit, mm -hmm. or it'll just be a little bit mid. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, um, that's and that's kinda, teeing it up low. But that's the the height of the shot that you like to see. Is if anything, maybe lower. Uh, uh, I would I would love to see it mid. You know, I would love to be able to actually tee it up and send it okay. and actually get some roll when I send it as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause I, I don't get, that's, that's, I don't get that out of this driver. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is have you test your current driver based off your speed. We'll take a look at the launch numbers, spin numbers, especially at your speed. Uh, spin numbers are gonna be really important. And based off what you're telling me with the roll, we're really gonna focus on the descent angle, uh, the angle it's landing when it hits the ground. From right. what you're telling me, sounds like it might be coming in a little bit too vertical, but we'll, we'll hit some shots and, uh, and see really what we find out. Uh, but then from there, we'll test a bunch of the new product, throw in some different shafts, find something that looks good, feels good, and uh, hopefully goes a little farther and straighter as well. Oh, man. Sound good? Yeah. All right. So, all right, Joe, so let's uh, take a look at your Sim 2 and really just uh, you know, talk about how it's performing. So we saw your club head speed was hanging pretty much right around that 115 mark. Uh, I'm sure whenever you jump on it, it gets a little closer to that 120. Uh, but we're seeing on average ball speed is just shy of 170. Uh, and we see that your launch angle is 11, backspin is 2000. Now where we want you to be, I'd like to see actually, you know, your backspin could go up ever so slightly at a 21, a 2300. That last one was a little bit lower, so it did bring it down a little bit. Uh, but really 22, 2100. Uh, and then launch angle is again a little bit on the lower side as well too. 12 and 11, like you mentioned, you do tee it a little bit lower, so I'm honestly not that... Uh, not that surprised by it. Um, I would like to see it just go up a little bit more uh, to hopefully get you just a little bit more carry and potentially a little bit more than a uh, flatter descent angle as well too with some additional ball speed is where I think we're really gonna gain some because you know, honestly I know we're trying to optimize this thing, right. uh, but your launch and spin really are pretty good compared to you know, average people we see every day and even honestly a tour player. I'm expecting to see just from a new uh, driver Probably seeing the, the ball speed number get up, you know, more like mid 170s. I'd love right. to see um, on, you know, really on average, and then maybe seeing some of those uh, uh, really fast shots that you jump on, maybe even creeping up a little bit closer to 180. Obviously, for every little bit of ball speed we pick up, we're gonna pick up a little bit more distance as well too. So, exactly. Uh, let's do this. We're gonna start off. Uh, we're just gonna go to a newer model of what you currently have. So we have Sim 2. Uh, we'll jump into the Stealth 2. So two generations later. Uh, honestly, I'm even going to keep the exact same shaft in there for now. So we're pretty much just going to do the exact same setup with just the current model that you have. Then we can tweak it a little bit from there as we need to. Sound yeah. good? Yes, sir. Branded water is always key. It's a sign of, sign of true class in any company or golf club. So I get this one set up. We're going to set it up ever so slightly different in the head. Um, you had yours set just a little bit more towards like an upright setting. I'm just going to go just upright, standard yeah. in the loft just to start with. And we can tweak it a little bit as we need to. So we're going to go with the, the nine degree uh, in the Stealth 2. 
one thing I am going to change is going to be just different uh, than neutral is by moving this 15 gram weight over into the toe. So with the adjustable weight now by moving that over here into the toe, that just takes the sweet spot, moves it a little bit into the toe as well. So what that's going to do is those shots that you do hit uh, in the center of the face, they're not going to want to draw as much. Uh, or if you do sneak one out here on the toe, those ones aren't going to want to draw as much as well too. There uh, should be much more usable shots. <laughs> Really low in the club face and okay. out the hill. Low, low heel. Okay. But that's still. Still 290. Okay, let's take a look though. So we can again uh, put in a couple of different adjustments as well, too. And we had a couple in there. Again, first four shots you hit with the club uh, that again weren't really up to par. But here's the good news. Even with a couple of miss hits in there, which really, though, probably one miss hit that you had with your driver, we threw it out. We do a kind of quick compare between the two. Uh, we had 169 ball speed with all fairly center struck shots. Uh, even with a couple miss hits with the uh, Sim uh, Stealth 2, uh, we were still at 168. So really didn't see much of a drop off, and that's honestly what I'd expect to see is uh, your average ball speed increase. Probably the ones you really catch will go up a little bit as well too, but that average we should stay, see stay uh, a little bit higher. Um, because of some of those miss hits though, we did see the launch angle come down, spin stayed about the same. But even with, again, less than optimal launch uh, numbers, uh, we'll change the setup here a little bit, uh, we still got to three, 21, 322. So we are four yards shy. Uh, we'll throw some different combinations in here as well too and test it a little more. But just from a looks feel perspective, give me uh, give me your thoughts on that, Joe. Yeah, I think it looks good and it does. It did feel good too. Okay. You know, it wasn't like a, it wasn't this tremendous or weird difference. In mm. Yeah, if you're jumping jumping from a titanium driver into a pretty much entirely composite one. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it didn't, you know, it didn't bother me at all. Okay. Awesome. Um, but, I, I, but I think, you know, importantly, I like how it looks. So yep. That's cool. Awesome. Well, let me uh, grab that from you. I'm going to pop a slightly different shaft in it, and we'll uh, try it out again. Uh, all right, Joe. So then we're going to just do a slight change uh, in our setup now. So we're going to keep the exact same head uh, in the Stealth 2 Plus. Still keeping the sliding weight in the toe to help fight any kind of extra left, keeping it at 9 degrees. change we're making now is going to be uh, in the shaft. So the shaft uh, that we tested was your gamer. It was the Ventus uh, VeloCore Black in a 6X. Now we are going to be testing uh, the same shaft just in the blue model. So in the Ventus, they made uh, three different models, red, blue, and a black. The, the black is the lowest launching, lowest spinning version of them. The blue is uh, just a little bit softer in the midsection, uh, it's, which is going to typically help us to just launch it a little higher, spin it a little bit more. I haven't seen anything that's resembled like a high spin shot from you yet. So I think we do have a little bit of uh, wiggle room. Uh, didn't like that one? Yeah. Uh, didn't didn't the feel swing, quite right? The swing in it. Yeah, it yeah. still it's felt a little, little more of a miss it. Yeah, it's okay. fine though. Yeah, I'd say it would have been a really good miss. But yeah, obviously, let's see, good efficiency. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit lower on the face there. Yeah, what do you that was think? A little, bit uh, lower. A little bit lower. What do you think of uh, the shaft uh, that we just tested there in the Ventus Blue? You mentioned it. Felt I could feel a little. Soft. I could feel that. I felt exactly what you described, actually. Okay. So, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, uh, I, no, 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 like really huge opinion on the difference. It's not like a huge difference. Okay, so it wasn't necessarily good or bad, but you could just tell right. something something was different than compared to your black. Right. Okay. So let's do this then. Uh, we're going to do one more adjustment here. We are going to go uh, basically back to the setting that you had in your black now. So we're just going to go a little bit on the upright. It's a little more what you're accustomed to. And we're just going to do two balls real quick. So I want to pop into some other equipment as well. Okay. We can always come back and test this guy out Bad. more if we need to. Just uh, the difference with the, the blue versus the black is uh, just kind of dispersion did increase a little bit. I think right. it could be a little, little more predictable ball flight when it came to the black, which, again, the black is just overall a uh, stiffer profile. Right. Um, and we really didn't get the added benefit that I was hoping to get out of the blue, which was getting the launch and spin a little bit higher. Okay. So if we, uh, if we take a look, you really hit it overall pretty similar, uh, with the spin still hovering right around 2,000 and launch around 12. So um, I think... Really, we got no added benefit from going to the little bit of the more uh, softer, higher launching profile. Uh, all we really were able to achieve there was increasing dispersion, which obviously isn't helping us out. 
So the final one we're going to test out here, Joe, we're going to go back to the Stealth. We're going to go just the, the standard Stealth 2, but not the Plus. And in this model, we are going to go 10.5, but we're going to bring the loft down to 9.5, like we talked earlier. By just reducing the loft, it opens the face a little bit for us as well, too. And then we have the shaft that you uh, literally walked in the building with your driver. So our Ventus VeloCore Black 6X. We got four, maybe five more swings left in the tank. We got some more. And then we'll uh, make some decisions and get that one entered for us. Cool. Yeah. And this thing just looks so damn good, dude. Looks I really think, uh, good. I played, played the Stealth last year and it was fine. Uh, I do like the aesthetics they've changed on the, the two this year with going to the kind of gloss finish on the internal. And then uh, I personally think the feel has improved a little bit. It feels even less composite Got it, compared okay. to what it was. <laughs> All right, we're going to go shot. back to the plus. Since you mentioned it before, I know it uh, sounded like you liked it last time you were out with the, the hazardous smoke green, our Hulk shaft. This is uh, probably the, so this would be the equivalent of what we tested uh, in the Callaway, uh, in the RDX Black. This is just the stiffer version of it. So I would say I put that on par with like the Ventus Black uh, when it comes to the, uh, that smoke line. And then we're down to uh, nine degree fade setting on this one as well. Oh, that felt so good. This one. Basically got no curve on it. 300. <laughs> Do that for like the last hour. <laughs> nice one. All right, 117 in the club head speed, and then yeah, best ball speed so far at 72. And again, uh, however many golf balls later at this point. 14 degrees in the launch, 19 on the backspin, 1900. Uh, so again, backspin uh, still again a little bit on the the low side there, Joe. But the good news is if you're launching it at 14 and, and backspin's 1900, that'll totally work. When you do hit those lower ones. Uh, again, the good news is your backspin stays about the same, right around 2,000, right. and it's the launch angle that then does kind of come down. So I think here's kind of where we are. I think we have two kind of standouts for sure. I think that is the uh, paradigm. So standard paradigm uh, in the 9, uh, nine or 9.5 there in the Smoke RDX. Option uh, 2, I think, is then your Stealth Plus. Uh, I'd go plus versus the regular stealth. It is just a little, we can make it more fade bias just to fight that left shot. So mm -hmm. I would go with the plus. Um, and then the difference in the shafts is it's the same platform. The green in your right hand there is just a little bit stiffer than the black. It feels, it feels it's, a little stiffer. It's a little more similar to kind of the Ventus that you're used to. Right. And it looks way cooler. Yeah, it just, it definitely, that's a plus, but it, it, it feels. It's like the, the it, feel of it as well too? Yeah, the you feel, got, you know what I'm saying? It's just super stable. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, if, you're, if uh, the Ventus Black is a shaft that you're comfortable with and accustomed to, where it almost feels like the shaft does nothing, uh, the green Hulk shaft there is going to be very, very similar to that. Yeah. And I mean, I, Paradigm, yeah, it, w it went well, but there's no question in my opinion that for me, it's the Stealth just looks just better. Just like another Stealth sits and yeah, awesome. Let's go that route then. So like, like I said, uh, kind of you know, to start this thing, I think uh, the way it looks, the way it feels, uh, it's super important. So right. if you don't like what you're looking at, I think you're only going to be so successful. I'm, I hit a lot of fairways still, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So like at the end of the day, yeah, I'm, you know, I knew I could have gotten more distance out of a little bit different head, newer model head. But like, again, I just hit so many fairways, Yeah. especially under the gun. So. Yep. Yeah. I mean, if you're already carrying a 300 as well, too. That was good though. You have some options in there. The nice ones you hit really low were obviously fine in the fairway. But then if you do want to dig deep, get a little bit more, obviously you can see there it's, you know, gives you another, you know, 10 to 15 carry, give or take. Yeah, so how, much, how far did that one fly? The last one was 317 in the air. Yeah. That's about and me. again, we're down to sea level here too. So right. that's, uh, that's getting around pretty much any course you're playing. Right. All right, Joe. So I think we found the uh, best model for us uh, in our TaylorMade the Stealth 2 Plus. We ended up in the nine degree models, so similar to what we tested earlier. We just kind of came back and tested uh, that hazardous smoke green uh, in the small batch. So it's a um, very similar shaft to what you walked in with in the Ventus Black. Slightly heavier, uh, but really just a, a stiffer version of the same shaft we liked in the Callaway. You know, in a couple weeks, like, that's going to be huge to just 
get a little bit more, um, a little bit more out of the well hit drives, you know. Absolutely, and we saw that really with all the stealth we, the stealths we tested today where uh, the spin was not a problem. Right. It was just finding the shaft that helped us to take out that left side and really have a consistent pattern. So right. I think you got an awesome setup, and then uh, good luck, uh, Alatori, there, man. I appreciate it, man. In. Thank you. That was, that was yeah. solid. That was really good. Mm -hmm.